do you unreservedly condemn? Will you now take the opportunity to condemn? Are you prepared to condemn it? Do you unreservedly condemn that? Because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocity? An Israeli official to mm. condemn. Did you ask the ambassador to condemn all the atrocities? I will be asking the representative of the ambassador. No, no, no. You had the ambassador before Abba me. I, you did not yes. ask her to condemn okay. anything. Uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I think I've tried to straddle a divide of being fair minded with all sides. If you, if you want to say fair grounds, mm. you introduced me as a Palestinian controversial. I actually host. corrected myself. I meant to say pro Palestinian. So why, why did the word controversial, controversial come into play? I think you're controversial. So, so is the ambassador. Why didn't you introduce her in that manner? I, I, it was the worst atrocity against Jewish people, the Holocaust. There has to be a response. They, what is the proportionate response? I don't know, but there's no Hamas in the West Bank and they're still dying there. So what's mm. your excuse? I don't have any excuse. <laughs> if you are adopting a certain point of view, mm. you have to at least defend it. I'm telling you there is no Hamas in the West Bank. What is, what is the excuse, mm. not your excuse? What is the excuse to kill those people? Mm. Well, it's, listen, this question of proportionality is one that... No, it, no, no, answer my question. I've been answering your question. You answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your question. <laughs> if you look to this graph, for example, this is the death of Israeli and Palestinians, and it's changing from one year to year. It's like fluctuating like crypto. So my question is today, what is the going rate today for human life? I mean, 2014 was a great year for Ben Shapiro. 88 Israelis were died, and there was 2,329 Palestinians killed on the other side. That is one Israeli for 27 uh, uh, Palestinians. That is a very good exchange rate. What I'm saying is, what is the exchange rate well, for I, today? Well, I, so I, you guys will be happy. That's my question. Well, it's not me. I, it's I want not me. No. guys i i don't i'm not on either no, side no no here. not you like when i yeah. say you guys i say like the people on the other side of that i know that you you don't think like that appears you're one of the good guys you're one of the good guys you're one of the good guys <laughs> you said that spreading lies like WMDs, make mm. people look at those people as less of humans and they would accept the death of a million Iraqi, whether by shanks, no, sanctions or by invasion, right? You are, you, you are a good man. And you know what is similar? Is when you spread the lies of 40 decapitated babies, although it was refuted, you are planting a certain image well, who has a said certain that? trigger in people's mind. Who, who has, has said, said that? 40 decapitated? Who has said you that? Have, you have repeated. No, no, I haven't. What? I've never said that. I choked up earlier reading this new revelation about 40 babies being killed some of them Dance. being beheaded they may it emerged last night have even beheaded babies one report tonight says that maybe 40 babies were murdered some of them beheaded i've never said that never please do not pigeonhole me no, as somebody no, that has no I, I compassion it's for my the palestinian it's, people you, i've been giving palestinians platforms including uh, you okay, all week okay. right but when Israelis were harmed, mm. you see, this is what I'm telling you. I, I, I have seen your interview just a few days ago with Israeli ambassador. She did say here on this seat mm. that they provided the whole south of Gaza mm. as a safe zone mm. and they are building shelters to Palestinian civilians. Mm. You know how many people were killed in the south of Gaza mm. only in the last 48 hours? Mm. So an Israeli official sits here and tells the world mm. that the south of Gaza is safe and people should go there en masse, mm. therefore ethnically cleansing these people to the, to the south to actually slaughter them, mm. and then you, Pierce, do not look her in the eye and tell her, stop lying. Mm. I don't like any civilian death. Do you mind? Don't condemn it, though. Hang on. Yeah. No, no. And here's why. I support Israel's right to defend okay. it. You've already said of the, impos the logical and legal impossibility of an occupying power, mm. according to international law, of actually defending itself. Because let me it's ask already, you, Mohammed. Let me I've finish. Got... Let me finish. I know. It's already in an offensive posture. Now. You know, there is no Hamas in the West Bank, and yet 51 people have died because in the West Bank, settlers who are doing an act of colonial terrorism, and this is not my statement on it, this is international law, this is a violent apartheid state, bombing Gaza and killing 3,480 Palestinians so far in Gaza, 1,000 plus children. I don't understand how anybody with even half a brain would think the way to get a peace settlement is to kill nearly 1,000 mostly innocent Israelis. 1,000 plus children mm. out of all of those casualties. 22 hospitals being bombed. The only remaining intact bakery being bombed yesterday. I tend to be completely fair. <laughs> I don't have a horse in this race. 
if the RAF were to then go into Belfast and dis flatten, as the IDF and these guys want to do, if they want to flatten Belfast with all the white people, with the excuse that we're doing it because it's proportionate, what would you say about that? Uh, here's what I would say to you. Is that acceptable or unacceptable? Here's what I would say to you. It never happened, so the like for like isn't it's not, it's a hypothesis. It's no, hypothetical. It's not, it's not. I don't do hypotheticals. International United Nations definition of yeah. terrorism. It is the unlawful use of violence against civilians to terrorize them for the sake of a political agenda. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Agreed? Unlawful violence against civilians. Mm -hmm. Do you consider Israel no. to be a, a ambassador? A, to be, I'm to be a terrorist questions. state? Do you consider Israel to be a terrorist ambassador. state? Ambassador. Did we agree on the definition of terrorism? I, I've asked you, is Hamas a terror group? Israel has been targeting civilians in front of your eyes, deliberate targeting, and not just this, this round. 2014, you know mm. all that happened. 2,500 I'm very aware happened. of the history. Okay, then you I've are been aware. very critical of Israel Is Israel, Israel a terror state? I'm Please. asking you the question. Is Israel a terror state? Ambassador. Well, this is the asymmetry. Ambassador. Answer you, me and I'll you, answer you about Hamas. You, you, no, answer it's me. not how this works. No, no, it is. It's my show. It is. And you're and a guest on my show. It is. From the, now on, this is the way it works. Okay. But, but there has to be equity yes, and symmetry. You, uh, I don't have a horse in this race. The, the, evidence, the evidence is increasingly pointing to this not being an Israeli airstrike that the likelihood is that this was an Israeli bombing campaign wasn't only because of the singular verifiable video, the, the phone video from the balcony that had all of the markings of an airstrike, the fact that the Israeli Air Force was enacting a bombing campaign in the region at the time, according to the Al Jazeera live streaming footage that everyone is using but doesn't understand. The, the uh, digital media person uh, for the IDF immediately came out and said that this was actually an airstrike that hit a Hamas target and celebrated it. And more importantly, I guess, the fact that this hospital had been bombed by Israel on Saturday. 22 hospitals have, as a matter of fact, been bombed by Israel since this last uh, saga in the occupation. And this hospital had been bombed directly by Israel, where the cancer ward was destroyed. Israel has been bombing all of these hospitals. Israel has been calling all of these hospitals to evacuate over and over and over again. The medical professionals at the hospital had been called by the Israeli government uh, the day prior. Everyone on the ground assumes that this is an Israeli airstrike. They are the ones who experience the, uh, the situation. Listen, Hassan, so when you have, uh, when you have but the every truth single... Is, can I the truth is, if you watch can the BBC, this? If you watch the I, BBC I, account of all this last night, and they reached a pretty clear conclusion based on circumstantial evidence, I'll make that clear, that this would not have been an Israeli airstrike. This is entirely unfair because you just said circumstantial evidence favours that this was not an Israeli airstrike. Yeah. I gave you all of the circumstantial evidence that it does favor that this is an Israeli airstrike. No, I do not mean when Israel said that they did not bomb this hospital and it was actually Hamas. And then they turned around and went, never mind, it's not Hamas, it's actually Islamic Jihad. And then they said, we have more evidence coming out in a couple hours. And then the evidence came out and it turns out uh, by experts at the very least uh, to be uh, completely false and, and uh, completely uh, made up. Yeah, but Hassan, I don't accent, think, I'd listen, in all, all honesty, now, I now, don't wait, think wait, even on, as you're saying on, all this, finish. I think you're a smart guy. Piers, let me finish. I think you've looked at all of this, and I think in your heart, you know this was probably not an Israeli airstrike. And I think no, that as facts no, change, that is your not what I'm change. saying. That no, is not what I'm saying at all. I don't all. understand. I that. tend to be completely fair. Yeah. I, I promise you. <laughs>